Joe from the Queers. Cheeto from the Queers. Oh, I grew up, I'm originally from New Hampshire, so that's where I'm from, and I lived up there, part of, you know, mainly I was in the Boston music punk scene for years, and there wasn't much happening up there in New Hampshire, the seacoast of New Hampshire. But back when I started out, it was like the only other like notable person, punk rocker I knew was Gigi Allen. We were like, after high school, we were kind of sitting around we were just kind of losers like that. Into the Ramones, though, a lot. We love the Ramones. And uh, we're in the seacoast of New Hampshire, is where we're from. And just sort of hanging out at loose ends. You know, we hated everybody around us. They were all dumb, and we were smarter than all of them, but none of us really had any jobs or any, or, or any drive to go do anything. And I, I think, so, you know, we're kind of bouncing around. You know, after high school, uh, Tulu, uh, one of the original queers, he went to college, Wimpy and I did, not uh, we just didn't know what we wanted to do with our lives. So we were just kind of kicking around, smoking pot, drinking beer, butt out of the can, and you know, going to Ramon shows, and then just I kind of picked up guitar and Wimpy could drum, and, and that's how we started playing, just going, we saw all the great New York and Boston bands, and, and um, you know, the punk scene really struck a chord with us, so that's sort of what we did. Uh, I had gotten booted out of my house up in Exeter, New Hampshire, and went to rehab. And then <laughs> I was at loose ends, and I was like, oh man, I can't go back up to New Hampshire. I, it, it was just not the place to go. So we did a, I left rehab, went to Brazil for a tour with GBH and us, and then my girlfriend, now my wife Mimi, was in Atlanta, so I kind of ended up, you know, said, hey, you mind if I come to Atlanta? Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> and so here I am. So, yeah, I've really grown to love it down here. I like it. There's a great scene. The city's really growing up. I like the fact that it's not Boston, Chicago, San Fran, New York City city. You know, it's still, like, user-friendly a lot of ways. My girlfriend, she got a job offer at Grady. And I wasn't doing anything in Jacksonville. My uh, my lease was up, and you know I wasn't really going anywhere. So um, we ended up kind of just packing everything up and moving up here blindly. We don't really have any family up here or anything, but it's been a great move. Um, you know, I ended up going to Georgia State and re-enrolling and finishing my degree and doing all that kind of stuff. But uh, Atlanta's been good for us. Uh, you know, uh, just. What else am I gonna do? I got the rest of my life to sit on the couch. I see people my age, and you know, they got more money in the bank, but they just, I don't know. I think they wish they had done something like me. They had the balls to go do it. I'm, I'm lucky I landed on my feet, really. Um, and, and so I just like the energy. It's a lot of laughs. I love the laughs, I love the energy, I love doing stuff like this. Hey, you, there's always something to get out of bed for in the morning when you got a band. Big or small, there's always something going on. You, it's just nonstop laughs, good energy, it's creative, you meet new people, uh, you know, we'll make friends over there, we don't even know. And, and um, I woke up one day and all of a sudden everybody in my life, from my wife to my best friend, Ben Weasel, I've met through music. Really, you know, it's like, wow, I, this is what I kind of dreamt of when I was playing guitar and I was 18 and, and so it's really been a dream come true. But that's why, it, it's addictive, it's like a drug, really. It, the energy and there's always something going on and, um, and we have fun, we, it's, it's a blast. So uh, it's not for everybody, but, but uh, we enjoy it. So that's what keeps me going anyway. <laughs> Plus it pays the bills somehow, believe it or not. So. So we all make a living off it too, so that's that's what my story is. <laughs> Ever since I was a little kid I wanted to play music and uh, you know, it was kind of my dream. So yeah, I mean, I consider myself, you know, I, I feel very fulfilled at what we're doing and just the chance to be able to, to play with a band like the Queers and, and keep, you know, it, it's awesome. You know, there's a lot of fans out there that really appreciate it and uh, it makes it worth it. He's just bucking for a raise. Maybe next door, little buddy. <laughs> Getting back to the whole city thing, I think Atlanta does fly under the radar screen as far as, yeah, we know it's a rap mecca, kind of, but 
there's a whole other lot, a ton of great stuff going on here in Atlanta, energy-wise, with the arts and movies and TVs and all that stuff. And a lot of stuff flies below the radar screen, and it's a pretty cool little place to hang, it, hang your hat.